Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to be looking at this really awesome and extremely small Ryzen 3200G system. Absolutely incredible. Uh, we're going to go over the parts and uh, just the performance here, how this system performs. It's absolutely incredible. And just look at how awesome this thing is. Very slim, very small, smaller than an Xbox, I would say. I love this cooler. It's a 37 millimeter cooler from Noctua and just really awesome job in, making, in keeping the 3200G system cool. I did have some problems in overclocking the processor part. However, I did, I was able to overclock the graphics part to 1700 megahertz uh, with this cooler. So at least that did a great job. Uh, one thing that's helping in the performance is our RAM. This is G-Skill Flare X 3200 megahertz speed. And I did downclock that to the speeds that are supported by the 3200G. So I believe I downclocked it to 2933 megahertz. But the RAM is cast latency 14, CL14 RAM. And in my testing, I've showed you before that CL14 is just absolutely the best when it's best speed and latency for your ram when it comes to these 3200 and 3400 g's if you're using the integrated graphics in that video which i will leave a link up here somewhere or over there where the lower cast latency did a way better job and actually gave you a 5 to 10 fps bump in most games uh, so that this is going to really help out our performance in the games I'm going to show you here today. Uh, the case that we're looking at here is the Inwin Chop, and it's not anything new. Uh, you can get it for around $80 at most places. I got mine here at Micro Center. In the build video, you may have seen me use a different motherboard. I had an ASRock motherboard, which I got an open box deal at Micro Center. First time ever that I had a problem with open box motherboard and a problem, actually, I also bought an open box 3200G. Uh, so I had problems where the system was crashing in gaming uh, and I did a lot, a lot of troubleshooting to try and figure out what the issue was. And I weeded it down to between the motherboard and the processor. I ended up just returning them both and getting a new motherboard and a brand new processor. Uh, so this is the Gigabyte B450 ITX board. And I also went with a brand new 3200G instead of open box. Uh, ever since I replaced those two things, the system has worked perfectly. But like I said, I've never had issues with open box items from Micro Center before, but they did let me return it and I was able to swap it out for new and working items. The 3200G is a very great value processor. You can use it anything for anything, and if you're the, one of those people that are now working from home and need a work from home computer, 3200G is a great cheap option for you. Uh, depending on what type of work you want to do, if it's if you're just doing Excel and Word and all and Outlook, don't need to do a lot of encoding or anything like that. The 3200G was great, and even if it's even a really light load, you can always go with their 200G E series. The dual core processors with integrated graphics are also very cheap processors, but 3200G is just a really well-rounded processor and it has a great graphics processing chip on it as well. If you want to have uh, take a break from work and throw on some, some light gaming, you can definitely do that with this computer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just start going over the gaming results, the benchmarks that I did on this processor, and I'll see how this system ran. All right, so starting off with our benchmarks, we're going to go with the brand new game Valorant. And with the average FPS of 79.8, this is at 1080p medium settings. So that's pretty good. If you ever dropped it down to low settings, you get really just pro level FPS marks there. And it does have a 1% low of 60.2. Next, we have the ever popular Counter-Strike Global Offensive or CSGO. This was also tested at 1080p and this was at low settings. We have an average frame rate of 161.2 frames a second and a 1% low of 89.1. Fortnite was tested at 1080p with pro settings, so everything low except for view distance is at epic. Our average frame rate was at 76.9 and a 1% low of 38.5. Next, we have World War Z. World War Z was tested at low settings at 1080p. We have an average frame rate of 59.9 frames a second, 
with 1% lows at 47.2. And this was, is with the Vulkan API applied. Overwatch was tested also at 1080p with low settings. We had an average frame rate of 62.6 with 1% lows of 47.2. Now we have Rocket League also at 1080p with quality settings. We have average frame rate of 76.5 and 1% lows of 37.3. Next we have Doom Eternal. This was tested at 1080p, low settings. Average frame rate was 37.8 with 1% lows at 14.5. And finally, we have Rainbow Six Siege, tested on the Vulcan API with low settings at 1080p. We have an average frame rate of 57.1 frames a second and a 1% low of 48.6. All right, as you guys can see, the 3200G, you're not gonna be running high resolutions on it, but at 1080p, we have some really great results in a lot of popular titles. Uh, some titles you're not going to be able to have a great time with in the higher graphics realm, like Far, Far Cry 5. You saw some uh, that it, it struggled quite a bit with a game like that. But a lot of the esports titles, it did a really great job, and including the brand new Valorant. Uh, that game, it just did an excellent job. Uh, even when I upped the, the graphic settings to about medium, it did a really good job and kept it above 60 FPS. So the 3200G with the cast latency 14 RAM is a, an excellent, excellent option for you guys if you are looking for gaming on a budget in these eSports titles. When you go with ITX, you do pay a premium because of the engineering it takes to get all of that power into a tiny system like this. Uh, so you do pay a premium when you go with ITX. I really wanted something really tiny and small. That's what I wanted. I've always wanted to build inside this in one choppin. It does have a lot of quirks to it that you're gonna have to have some patience to work within this. Uh, squeezing the motherboard in there with all this cable managing. Case does support two two and a half inch SSDs, does not support any three and a half inch mechanical drives at all. Not that you would ever expect something this small to support something like that. But with the two and a half inch SSD uh, support in here, you can definitely have a decent amount of storage on this computer. I have a 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD on this system here. The great thing about this in wind chop and it comes with a built-in power supply uh, it's not going to power any high-end graphics cards or anything like that but it is enough power to support the 3200g but i think i spoke enough about this system if you have any questions leave them down in the comments i'll be more than happy to assist you with uh, making any decisions that you have if you want to buy parts all the parts that i have in this computer i have listed in the description with amazon affiliate links which will help the channel grow if you are able to use those links i would greatly appreciate it because i do get a little bit of kickback from that but thank you guys for watching if you want to see more from us hit that subscribe button and the bell and if you like the video give it a like if you didn't you know what you can do and i'll see you guys in the next video Missile, missile, go down to, go down to B. Okay. Yeah, we need two on each side. At least two. Where the fuck do we go? Standing. Taken nice. down. Careful, there's more ahead. You know if you can just. Hot shot. Oh.
Oh man. Oh, damn. This guy's You're good. good. Never mind. I have the Boom! One enemy remaining. Oh my oh. goodness. 30 seconds left. He's good with this thing. Fuck him up. How about you keep using that gun right there? He's right around the corner. Oh, Ten you know exactly what gun he has. You can get him. Oh my god. That's why they put me in charge. Dude, this kid's pro. Oh, this guy's Looks a like YouTuber. The still got some bite. He is? Nice. Guess why he on his name. Nice. I wonder if he's any popular. Should I search him up? Yeah, I'll search him up too, I guess.